Hey there everybody, it's Big Dave. I just wanted to make a quick short video to talk about uh, a little boosting skip that I've been using a lot in Berlin that's really fun. It can get you from the top of the map down to the bottom of the map extremely quickly. Um, and uh, it's just gonna be with a violin on top of a briefcase boost, uh, the same boost I usually use to get out of bounds and levels. So let's take a look at it. All right, so let's say we're at this point on the roof of the club. Uh, this is basically the highest point you can get on the club section of the map. Um, what we're gonna do is come over here, drop down inside, and then we're gonna go down uh, this ladder well and we'll throw our briefcase down there as well. You can pick it back up and we're gonna set up our boost right here on top of this wood pallet and we're gonna boost into this window. Uh, now this is a window that we can climb through but if you do that, it'll attach you to the wall. If you boost through this window, you'll be free to run around wherever you want to. So I'm gonna put my briefcase right up against the wall here. Toss the violin in the middle of it and drop my breaching charge just on the outside edge of this pallet and then boost up. Uh, once we're up here, you can walk this way, get over here, um, and then you can walk along all of these, uh, I guess, concrete beams or whatever they are. Um, but now you can actually drop straight down to the dance floor. You can see it right there. Um, you can see from up here, uh, we can just drop straight down onto this if we want to. Um, you can get over on those beams as well. Um, there's a lot you can do to get you down here very, very quickly. Okay, so let's start from this point right here on the roof and just do the boost in real time and see how quickly we can get down to the dance floor. So you can see there, not very long at all and way faster than running down the stairwells or using like the pipes to climb down on the interior walls. I mean, in that example right there, the thing that genuinely took the longest was me setting up the boost and getting into position to trigger it. And that can definitely be optimized, um, but even taking an extra second to get your positioning and setup right, it's still a very fast and effective method uh, for getting from the top of the club to the bottom of the club very quickly. You can do this boost with just the violin and then not worry about having to carry around a briefcase. Uh, you just want to make sure that the violin lands right about here because it can fall underneath this pallet. Nope, oh, there we actually, we got the boost, but it boosted us straight up and glitched us into the ceiling. <laughs> so uh, that's something, not anything helpful, but you know, it's something. Let's try it once again with just the violin. Oop, oh, didn't even get a boost. See, th this time it, it fell through, I guess, the top layer of the... Uh, of the pallet here and it didn't give me any collision to get boosted on so let's try one more time oh there we go so okay we got it that time so you can definitely get that boost without having to set down your briefcase and use it as a platform for the violin but it's uh at least for me it was much less reliable um, so I, uh, in using it in an actual run, I use the briefcase as a platform, but you can definitely do it with just the violin. Alternatively, you can actually get this boost from a little bit higher up, um, but it is much less reliable than doing it at the window down there. You can do it right here over this railing or over this railing. Um, but you have to be sure to do it in the middle because you have this slightly angled ceiling here If you do it on either side, you're just gonna glitch up to the the roof. So you have to do it in the middle Oh, 
there we go so you can do it from up here um, but at least in trying to work it into a run I was having a lot of trouble getting this particular boost consistently um, but if you can get this boost consistently you will shave another I don't know three or four seconds off your time um, so it can be a real time-saving boost in speedruns